Looks like we're hooked up. We're ready to get out here. Got the mural craft outfitter already. Welcome back to another video here of DB Fishing. Today, we're getting ready to take the boat out once again at the campsite. And uh, we're just gonna go for some walleye. A few different tactics for some walleye today. Try some different things, some plastics, maybe some bait. Um, some glide baits and maybe a few other little things uh, some Lindy rigging or something maybe like that We'll try but yeah, we're gonna get out there see if we can find them on the sonar on the side imaging and Get at her go for some big walleye. Hopefully today. Let's go Billeting shot Boat launch and the lake is awesomely calm. Yeah, a little store. Oh yeah, let's get out. Okay, we got the Garmin Hummingbird fired up, motor's ready to go, life jacket on, there it is, we're at Kilman Resort, beautiful spot, beautiful campground, very private, treed in, nice and quiet, well, when they're not trimming down trees, I guess. Okay, let's get out there though, enough talking. Walleye today, let's see what we can get. We got about a 25 minute boat ride for our first spot and then we're gonna fish our way back. Here we go. Okay, well, we're in the spot here, ready to go, finally. Uh, rigged up some rods. I'm gonna have three rods ready to go. Switch them out, see how it's going. Um, Probably gonna start with a shiver minnow, a glide bait here, blue and white. Try rip that and see how aggressive they are. Um, and then uh, another plastic bait I'm going to try here. This is a smeltinator jig, chartreuse 3 8 with a golden boy Z-man uh, minnow. That's a three inch. So that's uh, probably my second, second one I'll toss out if they're uh, not as aggressive on that shiver minnow. And then if I need to slow it down, I just got a Wu Tungsten uh, Ned Rig with a little zoom black worm on their uh, plastic, plastic worm. So yeah, if we need to slow it down, I'll throw that out. So uh, yeah, let's get out there. Um, one of the things I wanna talk about just quick that I see a lot on social media right now is just some poor poor pictures some poor fish handling you can just tell um, the fish has been out of the water way too long thing is try be prepared before you start fishing if you're gonna measure have a bump board ready um, there's this Rapella tape one it's not as official, but I mean, you're not in a tournament, but if you want to measure your fish, have this ready. I take this one on like fly-ins or offshore and stuff if you're packing in. And if you do want to weigh your fish, have a scale ready to go. Um, don't be digging through your bag and five minutes waiting. I see a lot of these fish on pictures and stuff. They just look, they're dead already. Um, and also, if you're going to weigh your fish a whole bunch, try not use the ones with the big metal hook sticking through their gills or shoved through their mouth this one just clips on your walleye clip it on its lip and then you can weigh it so something like that another thing have your pliers pliers and things ready to go right in front of you and if you're by yourself and you don't have someone to take a picture what i like to use is just off amazon this cheap little phone uh, tripod you can set it up have your phone ready 
quick picture and uh yeah you're ready to go some of these bigger fish you need to let go um i mean i have kids i want them to enjoy some of this awesome fishing that i've been able to do to enjoy and going for some master master size fish some of these bigger fish so yeah just uh kind of my rant try have everything ready to go before you start fishing so when you have that big one or that fish of the day or that fish of the lifetime you're set up and you're ready to go with everything you need right okay let's get at her okay let's start out first not with the shiver motor i'm gonna try the smeltinator jig and the z-man gold boy minnow and we're just gonna kind of cast around these fish are cruising by on the sonar I'm not really seeing them spotted up right now they're just cruising i'm gonna try and cast around First cast, first little hit. Keep trying here. Right away. Yeah. They're just pulling on that tail, but that's a good eater to start. Good eater to start. first good eater um yeah i was getting lots of hits on that gold minnow by z-man but they're just pulling on the tail so i went to the glide blade glide bait that shiver minnow and they bit it on the back hook and start hooking a few here so yeah first time i dropped it down got this guy here a little 17 incher good eater so yeah let's get back down there Uh, another 17, 18. Grabbed it off the bottom. Okay, take these, buddy. I think he's pretty. Oh, he's got some fight now. Too big to keep, 18 incher. Swallowed that smeltinator with the gold Z-Man, pulled on the tail first. And yeah, too big, 18 incher. There we go. Now they're both the same size, 18 incher. Biting that Z-Man and Smeltinator jig, just dragging it slow, casting it, then dragging it slow along the bottom, just popping it. Yeah, let's get you back, back. Big. quick. Ah. Just want to show you here on my uh, uh, Hummingbird map, I've got this lake uh, map. So uh, what I'm doing right now is, as you can see, I'm sitting my boat just spot locked out here i've been moving kind of in between these two little reefs and uh the reefs are about eight nine feet of water and the fish are just kind of cruising up on top right now from what i'm seeing on my 
down imaging sonar they're just cruising uh not really stacked up a ton so what i'm just doing is staying out from that shallow water not sitting right on top of the reef because uh with the trolling motor and echoing under under the water it's really loud so those fish will sometimes spook off so what i'm just doing is sitting out here in about 14 15 feet of water um and just pitching pitching on top of that reef to them and slowly bringing it into the bit of deeper deeper water um i could probably even be out in this like 16 17 just a little bit deeper it's like when you're swimming um splashing around uh, i mean there's not going to be fish hanging around you usually when you're swimming around so it's kind of the same same idea stick out to deeper water and then just pitch into that shallower water if that's where they up are up on right for the walleye Oh, yeah. They're not biting aggressive, but they sure are fighting when they get caught. Okay, easy, buddy. Another one on the gold smeltinator. I switched back, got a few on it now, so they're starting to hit it. Um, yeah, good eater here, 17 incher, but hoping to get some bigger ones. Get a big boy. Little one. Whoa, don't rock the jukebox. What's that about? That feels better. That feels a little bit better. Yeah, this is a better one. Not big. Get the net. Oh, this is a pike. It's pulling down. The walleye, it's really big. Come on. Oh, big walleye. Big, 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 big walleye. That's a giant. Gotta get this in the net. Yes! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Woo! That is big. Yes! Oh, baby. I thought that was a pike. This might be a PB, folks. Let's go. Look at that giant. Oh this is big. Let's get this hook out. I got every oh, hook blocked out. Okay. Hook is out. Easy bud, easy bud. I want to get a good hold on him. Okay. This is a giant walleye. 
Look at this thing. Ooh, look at the size of that thing. Absolute monster. Giant walleye. Awesome, okay. Let's get a quick Let's measurement. Let's get a quick measurement. Thirty incher. Thirty inch walleye. Awesome, big boy, we're ready to go. We had everything ready, now let's get them back. He's gonna have to get his energy back. That is a brute, a big girl. Fat, big female. I thought it was a peg. Okay, she's gonna kick off here. There she goes. Awesome. Woo, that is a PB walleye, folks. On video, pumped. Uh, yeah, I'm speechless right now. That was unreal. I just bought the Smeltonator jigs a couple days ago at Russell Video in Russell. And the Chartreuse 3 8 with the Z-Man Gold Boy minnow struck. struck. Oh. I thought it was a pike, it was pulling uh, some drag, kind of taking runs, but it was pulling down, so I wasn't quite sure, but yeah, unbelievable walleye, that's a huge walleye, that's my PB for length for sure, 30 inch club, it was... Yeah. Wrap up the video here, good way to end it, caught a few after that big 30 inch mama there walleye my pb so gonna be pretty tough to beat today so good way to end it um pretty pumped awesome way to uh get out today and this afternoon and uh go strong with the 30 inch walleye so yeah awesome day so just pitching uh up on reefs uh like i was showing there on the hummingbird kind of what worked and uh they were just really had to slow it down because they were just sucking it off the bottom so yeah play around um like we were like i talked about today all we were using was the z-man three inch golden boy um yeah just a plastic minnow looking gold i like gold black um those kind of colors some white some pink but uh even chartreuse and today i just uh match them with one of these smeltinator jigs uh, three eight ounce. I really like the profile of these jigs. Um, pretty pretty new to them, but uh, lately I've been using them a little bit and liked them quite a bit. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching. Short little video, some walleye action, and a big one. So uh, pretty pumped about that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the video. We got some more uh, walleye content coming up, but also some other species of fish we're going to target here this summer. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you next time.